Hey gang, Scott here. Well, Skylum released Luminar 4.2 today, and the major new feature is this new tool called AI Augmented Sky. Thought I'd show you the basics of how this works. So this is in Luminar 4.2. And so here I have a photo. I've done my basic edits on it, a few things in the essentials area. Over in the creative tool set, we have a new tool called AI Augmented Sky. We'll open that up there. So what Augmented Sky is all about, it's really a compositing tool, a digital art kind of tool. It's not really a core editing tool per se. For uh, anyone familiar with layers and how you could overlay you know, a planet or a set of mountains or silhouettes of things using layers and blending modes, AI Augmented Sky does that for skies. It is specific to skies. Uh, so it uses that uh, AI technology. And there's a whole bunch of different options you can choose, you know, putting in more clouds or fireworks. Those are kind of neat, actually. You can load in your own custom images. I'll just do something with birds, just so you get an idea what it looks like. So I'll add in birds. The tool knows where the sky is in the photo, and it takes this overlay of an image of birds, does the magic and the blending and so forth, and if I do this place object, you'll notice as I move it around, watch as the birds go across, say, these areas, like the tower and the statue, that are not part of the sky. It's understanding that, the tool recognizes that, and it doesn't stick a bird, in my case, on top of one of my subjects. And as with any of these things, you can take that, we can stretch it out a little bit if I wanted to have this fill the frame a little more. Maybe we'll position this right around there. And the thing about this too is I have the other tools available that I'm used to with all of the different options in Luminar, my masks. So I can go into the brush here and I can mask away, erase 100%, like this one here. I don't want that bird because it's too close to the edge. Let's make a brush a lot bigger there. Get rid of this one here. It's at the edge, I don't need it. These ones down here. And I can be kind of sloppy with my brush strokes, I'm only affecting this augmented sky overlay. So as I brush around the edges near the buildings here, that's not part of the uh, overlay I'm brushing. So I can very quickly just work through here, clean that up, maybe a little bit more there. Maybe these outliers here, you start to get the idea. So with a handful of clicks, I'm adding in this overlay. I'm not going through, add a new layer, find another image, change a blending mode to say lighten or darken or so forth. And for certain things, this is much faster, right? This is, uh, again, that's not creating a, uh, a photorealistic scene kind of thing. This is breaching into a more digital art type thing. Uh, I haven't explored a lot of the other tools or the uh, other options in here. You know, lightning is cool. I mean, you know, fireworks, I'll just click on one of them so you can get an idea of what it looks like. You know, uh, you have fireworks. Three, okay, you get the idea there. There's a few different ones. You can do moons, mountains, they have a few for planets. And again, you can load your own custom image. Now, a couple of uh, limitations, or not limitations per se, but uh, things that you need to know about the augmented sky tool. It is only for skies. It will not be active on a photo that does not have a sky. It's just like the sky replacement tool or the AI sky enhancer, if there's no sky detected in the photo, either it's too small or there's nothing at all, these tools are grayed out. And it only works on an image layer. I can't go and just add an adjustment layer and then do more work with the augmented sky tool. That's um, something I wouldn't mind seeing become an option, because like with these fireworks examples, being able to lay in two or three different sets of fireworks, that'd be kind of cool. But that is what the, uh, the main new feature is in Luminar 4.2, AI Augmented Sky. If you are into compositing or doing blending, check the tool out. You may find this quite useful and it'll speed up your workflow. Questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.